Hey, good morning, everybody. In this video, I am going to show you how to get your limb occlusion pressure for the lower extremity without a Doppler ultrasound. Um, so typically we will do this uh, for home use for uh, BFR cuffs. So what I'm gonna do is get the appropriate size cuff. For me, it's a four. I'm gonna put it through the D-link and then I'm gonna want the stem to face forward. So it's gonna go on my leg like this. I'm gonna bring it all the way up. And then I'm gonna tighten this as much as I can. This is as high up as I can. I know it's, I've got like black sweats on, so it's hard to see. So I'm, I'm tightening this down, but I want this as tight as possible. Okay. Okay. So then I'm going to take my pump. I'm going to press down on that little clip and I'm going to attach. Now finding your, finding your pulse, you have two choices. You can either do dorsalis pedis, which is right on top of the foot between the first and second digit and I can feel that pulse there, or it's behind the inside of the foot, behind that malleoli, and it's right behind, in between your Achilles tendon and that bone. You push in there, and that's where I feel it. So I'm gonna do this in a standing position. You can, you wanna do the limb occlusion in the position that you're gonna exercise in. So if I was gonna go walk, I would, do that LOP in a standing. If I was gonna do uh, exercises for my legs lying down, then I would do it lying down. If I'm gonna do it seated, then I'm gonna do it seated. So now I'm going to stand and I'm gonna bend and I'm gonna pick up that pulse. There it is. Now I'm gonna inflate until I no longer feel that pulse. So I'm right at 220. Now, if, if you can't bend over at the waist, it's too difficult, then what you can do is just pop your leg up, maybe onto a chair and do it. And I can feel that pulse there. Actually, yeah, I'm losing a little air because it's still connected. Um, if that's still difficult, you could do it seated. But of course, the easiest way is to have somebody help you and have them take the pulse, you inflate or vice versa, or you can see a certified provider to help you. Um, and you can find a link to one of my YouTube channels about how to find a certified provider, somebody that's trained um, with me or underneath me um, to help you get started with it. But it's you only need to get your limb occlusion pressure about, I would do it the first time when you start. And then I would also do it uh, maybe after the first week of training with BFR. And then I would do it about monthly. So you don't have to do it every day. It's um, it's so that your it will change over time because your, your body is going to um, acclimate to the BFR itself. Um, you'll have the most change after about three visits. Your body will start to get really used to it after about three visits. That's what it takes. <clears throat> and that's why I recommend doing kind of an on-ramp program, using less pressure for the first three visits, only a couple of exercises. Um, otherwise, it'll be a little bit too much. Um, you either will get very, very sore. Um, it'll just be uncomfortable. Even when you get your LOP this way, never exceed a seven or eight out of 10 on a discomfort scale. So if, if you start doing exercise and it's really, really uncomfortable, like to the point of like, oh my God, I gotta get this cuff off, um, then that pressure is too high. So then what you wanna do 
these have a built-in little valve. So if I come over here so you can see, all I need to do is just press that valve a little bit so I can continue to exercise. You just hit that little valve, a little air will escape, okay? Realize that when this cuff is connected, it's pressing on this. So if I keep this on there, it's gonna keep deflating the cuff. So if I try to exercise with this, you know, it's going to, it's going to push air out. It's not gonna stay. So it's gotta be detached. And that's one of the biggest benefits of the cuffs is that it doesn't have to stay attached to this because now I can go walk, I can get, I can do stuff on the field, I can do um, a lot of teams travel with these things and it's one of the biggest benefits of the way we design these uh, cuffs. Um, if any questions, put them in the comment section. Um, I'll try to do a, a description as well. You can also check out my other YouTube channels um, and, or my other YouTube uh, videos. And I didn't realize how important it is to have subscribers. Like I can't even do a lot of things on YouTube because I don't have enough subscribers. So if you didn't, wouldn't mind, hit subscribe. Um, that would help me out a lot. If you have any questions, please reach out, ed at edlacara.com. Thanks.